Ever wondered if grass-fed, hormone-free, and antibiotic-free meat tastes different? Stick around as I unbox this Porter Road meat box. See if it truly lives up to its height. And there's a tasty discount in it for you. The elephant in the room. Do I recommend you purchase Porter Road meat box? So stick around. Hey everyone, it's Tim here from Timbo's Food Box. Today I'm diving into the world of Porter Road. Why? Because the meat industry can sometimes be all about smoke and mirrors. And we wanna know where our food is coming from. Porter Road claims that if it's not raised right, it can't be delicious. I'm about to put that statement to the test. Quick snapshot about Porter Road. They've been redefining meat standards, offering incredible cuts, guiding customers towards perfect choices for any occasion. Born in 2010 by two passionate chefs in Nashville, Porter Road has evolved from a small catering business to a butcher shop. And now they expand their quality meat offerings online. They're making waves nationwide. The best part is, Everything they offer is grass-fed. Now that's a big claim. And I am here to see if you can really taste the difference. And those looking to get in on the meaty action, stick around to the end. I've got a special Porter Road discount code that's going to save you $15 off your first order. All right, folks, I've got this magnificent box of meaty delights in front of us, and I can't wait to dig in. Let's first see what's inside and get those taste buds tingling with appreciation. Porter Road, looking at the box here, it looks like every other box, which is pretty chill. It's got this really cool steak tape. I got this about three hours ago from a UPS. It took two whole days to get here from Nashville, Tennessee. I live in Massachusetts. It's not an overnight ship for me in New England. So I'm kind of curious to see if there's any dry ice left over. Feeling the box, it does feel kind of cool to the touch. So I'm very hopeful that their packaging is amazing and there's a ton of dry ice and nothing's thought out. So let's get in here. All right, on top, it has my order details. We have a foam cooler and wait a minute. Oh, this is the foam that dissolves in your sink. I am gonna save so much money on recycling this month. Inside the box, we have a really nice cooler. On top, we have an ice pack. Wait, is that an ice pack? Oh, crap, that's an ice pack. That is not dry ice. This box does not have dry ice and it took two days to get here. All right, all right, relax, relax, relax. This ice pack, it's kind of squishy. It does have a little bit of solidness to it. That's an okay sign. The ice is not completely thawed out, but it's not dry ice. We have another bag of ice, and this one is pretty much all gel. Next down, got some paper. And as you see, I got some meat. Oh yeah. Let's just put our hands in here and pull something out. Ooh, it's thawed out. I don't hear a bang, 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 squishy. Here's the beef and bacon blend, pasture raised with no added hormones or antibiotics. At $7 a pound, this is a steal. Beef meeting smoky bacon. That's like a superhero teaming up in the world of flavors. Imagine burgers oozing with rich bacon essence. A lot of folks love the smoky kick bacon gives to the beef. I am pumped to cook this up on the grill tomorrow. Do I even put cheese with it? I don't know. Next item here, dry age paleo blend. Priced at $8 a pound. This isn't just a meal. It's a blend of some organs like beef liver. Back in the day, our ancestors ate this way, extracting tons of nutrients. It's a strong favorite for those on the paleo diet. If you're looking to make nutrition packed meatballs or a robust meatloaf, give this meat a whirl. Looking at the beef here, it's nice and red. What does keep refrigerated or frozen mean. This is not for frozen. It's kind of squishy, just like the other one. I also forgot to mention, both of these are one pound each. On to the next one. 
Ah, the chuck eye steak. Often dubbed as a poor man's ribeye, for $10, this feels like you're in on a little secret. It's from the right side of the ribeye on the cow. I've never tried this before. I've heard it gives off ribeye level taste without the price of ribeye. Best grilled or pan seared to medium rare. A sprinkle of salt and pepper in your golden. This meat is squishy. Not good. Hm. On to the next one. Dry Age Sierra Steak, priced at $11 a pound, straight from a cow's shoulder. It's known for being lean, but very flavorful. This is my first dance with Sierra. How do you make it dance with you? I don't know. Idea what I'm doing. And I've heard that it's a crowd favorite because of its versatility. Whether you're grilling, broiling, or making kebabs, this steak has got your back. It's kind of squishy. Completely thought out. I'm really bummed because I really want to try this. On to the next item. Let's dig a little deeper this time, see what we got. Ooh, chicken drumsticks at $5 a pound is a real bargain. These are super versatile because with some herbs, try them for crispy goodness or slow cook them in a stew. They're like the every man of the chicken world. Always reliable. Keep refrigerated or frozen. 0.83 pounds. You get four drumsticks. I feel like I just got a kid's meal. See my thumb? Look at this little boy right here. He's the size of my thumb. I've ordered a lot of meat for this channel and I've never seen drumsticks like this before. I mean, these drumsticks must be gold. On to the next item. Yeah, I'm gonna save that one for best for last. Let's do this one. Sweet Italian sausage links. Pork used is pasture raised with no added hormones or antibiotics. Classic recipe, gluten-free, no artificial flavors or colors. Perishable, keep, frozen or refrigerated. Priced at $6 a pound. They're a staple in my home. Great when you're back from work and you just wanna kick back and watch the football game. Grill, pan fry, or pair with some sauteed peppers and onions. Comfort food at its best. Mmm, yummy. On to the last cut of meat. And this one's a big one. Ho! Oh, look at that sucker. Volcano cut beef shank. At $14 a pound, it's from the lower leg of the cow. Dense flavor and perfect for slow cooking. I've never ventured here. So this culinary journey is waiting to happen. Braising this cut of meat will unlock flavors that warm your soul. I've never had this before. It's squishy, but this is a giant piece of steak. Kind of reminds me of the tomahawks I get from ButcherBox. Very, very good. Plan to cook this on the grill probably smoke it. That's a big piece of meat. That's going to take a long time to cook. All right, let's check out the rest of the packaging. Got another piece of paper. Two more ice packs. Both of these are kind of jelly. There you go. There's inside the box. Now we've seen the meat and I'm salivating already, but wait, there's more. It's not just about the taste. These cuts pack a punch in the health department too. The beef and bacon blend Grass-fed is packed with omega-3s and essential vitamins. Add some bacon into the mix and you've got a protein powerhouse. Plus, it might just help you with your weight loss if you're into that sort of thing. The Paleo Blend, Paleo diets have been praised for weight loss and the health benefits. This blend with its lean meat is a great source of protein and essential vitamins. The Chuck Eye Steak, not only is it flavorful, but this steak is also rich in iron, zinc, and B vitamins. It's lean, making it great for weight loss. And remember, grass-fed means omega-3s. The Sierra steak, a delightful cut. That's a good source of protein, iron, and other essential nutrients. Plus, the fact that it's grass-fed means it's lower in bad fats and higher in good fats. The chicken drumsticks. Chicken is lean meat. These drumsticks are a great source of amino acids and vitamins. Plus, it's lighter on the belly. Sweet Italian sausages. Sausages aren't just about the taste. 
They're packed with protein and essential minerals. Great for muscle building and energy. To wrap it up, the Volcano Cut Beef Shank. This beefy goodness is rich in collagen, which makes great for joints and skin. Plus, being a grass-fed cut, it's loaded with those vital omega-3s and vitamins. Before we wrap up this meaty session, here are a few blends I didn't grab this time, but they're on my radar for the next box. And if there's a more specific meat box or a particular cut you would love me to review next, drop it in my comments down below. I'm always on the lookout for suggestions. One of them is the Smash Burger, designed for optimal smushing. I mean, who doesn't love a good smush? The reviews are saying it's high in fat content, but I'm all for it. That's what I'm here for. The next is one of the brisket blends. Low and slow cooking, smoked. This burger blends promises some ultra flavors, and hey, it's a favorite for so many. So it's definitely on my list. And the last one is the ground beef, just regular old ground beef, the classic. They say it's the most flavorful ground beef out there. I mean, a steakhouse quality burger at home? Sign me up. Have you tried any of these cuts of meats? I'm curious to know your favorites. Share your thoughts and comments down below. And hey, always remember to balance out the meat with some greens. Or you know, more meat. That's your choice. All right, my fellow carnivores, before we wrap up this meaty journey, I've got some tantalizing offer for you. If you're feeling inspired from today's haul and want to taste some of the deliciousness for yourself, I've got a deal that's too good to pass. Mm -hmm. Save $15 off your very first order of $75 or more. You won't need to dig deep for this deal. Just check out the description down below. I'll also pin it in my comments for my special link. Also, just a heads up, by the end of this year, I'm launching my own website. So soon, all my meaty recommendations and reviews will be just one click away in one central location. If you've relished in this review, please do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, so I cooked up that volcano steak and wow, it was really good, but it took forever to cook. I tossed it onto my smoker around 10 o'clock in the morning. I let it sit on that smoke for about three and a half hours. Then I wrapped it up and I put some olive oil on it just to add some fat. And I let it sit on the smoker again for another three and a half to four hours. I pulled it off and tried to shred the meat and it would not shred. So I put it back on the smoker and I went back out at nine o'clock at night to check on it one more time. And at that point, my charcoal was pretty much dead. So I took it off, went inside and I tried to pull it as if it was like pulled pork. It came apart a little bit, but it was still really, really hard. So I tossed it into my Tavala oven and I put it on the steaming setting for two hours. So around 11 o'clock, I checked on it again. And at that point, everything was just falling off the bone. And the entire time it was in my Tavala oven, honestly, it's not like bacon in my house. It was a really pleasant, awesome smell very smoke smell. So the smoking definitely helped, but at the same time, it stunk up my house. <laughs> it was really hard to go to sleep with the smell of bacon in the air. But uh, I plan to make sandwiches for lunch today and enjoy it. So good luck in your cook. When they say it's not an easy cook on their website, believe them. You need to have some type of smoking experience. This was my very first time and I chose a really hard cut of meat. Hopefully next time it'll be easier. I think the next time I'm gonna try either ribs, brisket, or chicken. Wish me luck. And if you have a meaty box you're particularly passionate about, let me know in the comments. I just might review it next. There's a treasure cove of honest meat and food box reviews coming your way. And trust me, you don't wanna miss out. Now for my grand finale. Do I recommend this box for yourself? Maybe. It depends on where you live, the cuts of meat you adore. Don't forget to share your all-time favorite cuts in the comments down below. I would love to know. For another perspective, you might want to check out my review of A Grid My Meats. It's another meaty marvel you might just enjoy. Until the next culinary adventure, keep those grills hot and your palates curious.
See ya. Check out this video right here. YouTube is recommending it. Sierra, will you dance with me? Yes, Timbo. Oh, we're still recording. Wow, that's embarrassing.